Live stream started. Sergeant, please start your uh, recordings. Computer recording is up. Recording to the cloud all set. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to today's remote New York City Council vote of the Committee on Education. At this time, would all panelists please turn on your video. To minimize disruption, please place electronic devices to vibrate or silent. Thank you for your cooperation. Chair Traeger, we are ready to begin. Good afternoon and welcome everyone to today's Committee on Education, a vote on resolution number 1473 sponsored by council member Lewis. This resolution, which I'm proud to have signed on to as a co-sponsor, calls on the New York City Department of Education to provide families of children with disabilities the necessary training and equipment to properly enable distance learning. Before we hear from council member Lewis, I'd like to just say a few, a few words. Uh, this is the last year that I will be chair of this committee uh, in the last three years, this committee has held numerous hearings on students with disabilities and the myriad of challenges they face in, in the New York City uh, public school system. Representing um, nearly 20% of the public school population, time and time again at education hearings, we have heard from students, parents, and advocates that we are not fully meeting the needs of these students. And that was before the pandemic. The DOE has made strides at providing um, in full all services students are entitled to under their IEP, but we are not there yet. We are not at a place where students with disabilities have all the tools and resources they need in order to have a full and free education as all students are, are entitled to under law. COVID has only exacerbated the problem and I fear slid us backwards on gains made. When COVID hit and the DOE uh, opened up rec centers, I advocated early on that students with disabilities should be prioritized for placement. When the DOE ordered 300,000 plus iPads, I advocated for the priority of distribution to students with disabilities, in addition to other types of devices, not just iPads. In formulating my own ideas for school reopening, I advocated for students with disabilities to be amongst those at the front of the line when buildings reopened. We can and must do better for our students with disabilities and their families. Resolution 1473 calls on the DOE to ensure that families with students with disabilities have all the resources they need to successfully support their children during this time of distance learning. And I encourage all of my colleagues to please join us in voting yes. I wanna thank my staff and committee staff, and I will now turn it to Councilmember Lewis, and I really appreciate her leadership and her attention and time to, to, to kids who, who need support. And I really always appreciate her centering them as well. And I turn to Councilor Lewis for her remarks. Thank you so much, Chair Traeger, for the opportunity for my bill to be voted on today's committee hearing. Your staunch advocacy for educational equity in a city as diverse as ours has definitely been critical, especially during the pandemic. So thank you so much. My bill, Resolution 1473, puts the focus on children with disabilities, a group of individuals who have been overlooked and ignored for a very long time. Children with disabilities comprise more than 20% of New York City public students. And each of their unique circumstances must be accounted for to ensure that they are able to get the most out of their education. Families of children with disabilities are still struggling to cope with the difficulties of distance learning, which are exacerbated even further by the additional needs of their children. Many of these children need individual professional support with learning, and this role has now fallen into the hands of parents who have received little to no training nor support that is critical in ensuring educational equity for their children. So it's about time that we tackle this issue, and we cannot continue to permit the most vulnerable members of our community to fall behind our children. Your vote today will provide much needed relief for families of children with disabilities. Once again, thank you, Chair Trigger, for your support. And I hope everyone supports this bill today. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Lewis. And I will uh, now turn to the clerk to call the roll. Good afternoon, William Martin, committee clerk. Roll call vote, <clears throat> excuse me. 
Committee on Education, Resolution 1473, Chair Traeger. I vote aye. Drum. Aye. Lander. I vote aye. Thank you. Congratulations, Councilmember Lewis, and thank you, Chair. Barron. Thank you. Congratulations to uh, Councilmember Lewis. I vote aye. And if I'm not already on the bill, I ask to be added. Thank you. Absolutely. Kalos. Aye. Levine. Yes, with congratulations to Councilmember Lewis and, and thank you for your continued great work, Chair Traeger. I will be voting aye. Rodenchik. I thank uh, Councilmember Lewis for bringing this to the fore. I, I represent um, five standalone District 75 schools. I've had many discussions with Chair Traeger and I, I wanna thank both of you uh, for your advocacy for these young people. Um, just to give you an idea, one of the young people in my district travels all the way almost to the far end of East, Eastern Queens from Staten Island every day to get an education. We, we have to be doing better by these young people. Um, and I know that when the pandemic hit, um, they were the first to suffer. So I wanna thank you Again, um, Council Member Lewis and Chair Traeger for bringing this to the fore and please uh, add me to the resolution if I'm not on it already and I vote aye. Sure. Uh, Council Member Carnegie. Um, uh, permission to explain? Permission to explain my vote? Yes, Council Member, sorry, yes. Yeah, so I wanna say um, to the, the Chair Traeger who always does tremendous work for our young people and to uh, Council Member Lewis, thank you so much for this advocacy. Um, I don't know if you both know, I have a child or uh, I had a son with an IEP who, who ultimately suffered tremendously, gaps in service, all kinds of different things. So we as a family understand and appreciate your advocacy and standing up for those families. My son is now you know, a grown man who's, who's doing okay. Um, but I, what he went through, I wouldn't want any family uh, to have to go through. So thank you for making sure that uh, families will not have that as an issue going forward. Thank you both. Uh, I vote aye. Oh, and please add me to the resolution if I'm not on it already. You got it. Uh, Salamanca. Um, congrats to my colleagues. Um... Councilmember Lewis, I would like to be added to the resolution, and I vote aye. Brennan. Uh, with thanks to Chair Traeger for his leadership, and of course, Councilmember Lewis, um, this is such an important reso. I mean, it's common sense. It's crazy that we even have to call for this, but as they say, common sense these days ain't so common. So thank you for standing up for our most vulnerable and looking out for students with disabilities who make up such a large portion of our public school system. Uh, proudly vote aye, thank you. Lewis. I vote aye. Riley. Thank you. I uh, just wanna give congratulations to my colleagues, council member Lewis. Um, give praise to Chair Traeger for always being an advocate for education. Um, I will also would like to be added to the resolution and I vote aye. Thank you. You got it. Ulrich. I proudly vote aye. Congratulations to the chair. I vote aye. Thank you. Borelli. Congratulations to Council Member Lewis on this and to Chair Traeger and I uh, happily vote aye and, and please add me to the bill as well. Thank you. Council Member Levin. Uh, I want to congratulate Council Member Lewis and vote aye on the resolution. I'd also like my name to be added as a co-sponsor of the resolution. And as a quick note to Council Member Riley, um, uh, I, 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 I can see that you're also conducting um, school in your home like like some of the rest of us <laughs> nice to have you with me.
So by a vote of 15 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, resolution has been adopted by the committee. Thank you. Thank you and congratulations again to Councilmember Lewis and thank you for leadership on this issue and also uh, pushing the DOE to get uh, devices to all kids as well. And we appreciate you always looking out for our kids and I really appreciate Councilmember Lewis and also great to, to be joined by Councilmember Brennan and great, great to hear him feeling so much better and pushing for him a full speed recovery for him and way. We, we need Councilmember Brennan strong and the Brooklyn delegation and of course in New York City, appreciate you. And I uh, thank hope, hope all my colleagues and all staff are doing well. It's great to see you guys virtually. Hopefully we'll beat this pandemic soon and get to get, to get back at City Hall as well. So appreciate all of you. Amen. All right, that concludes this vote. And we are adjourned. We are adjourned, thank you. <laughs>